you know, oh, blimey, out, out the window, mate, out the window! If I was faking that, no, I'm not faking that, no. He, Seriously, not you. He's not a, no, it's not me, no. I thought you were the... <laughs> oh, God. I thought it was the truth so boring you'd had, mate. It's not me. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're going through the lovely countryside. Maybe that's it. Maybe, Maybe that's it's certainly not me. Uh, it's the I, uh, 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 three, two, one. Breathe. Back breathe. Hi everybody, welcome, welcome to a very random big Oggy Golf Q&A with Neil Allen. Hello. Hi, uh, not sure where it's going to go out, but uh, we're still on the road back from... <laughs> oh, good God. John's lost it. We're on the road back from my iron fitting at Walker Golf. Um, oh. And on the oh, way up... Oh, I think I've had too much energy. Oh, it's again. Oh, God. Like, oh. <laughs> I'm crying now. <laughs> right. <sighs> it's alright. We're fine. Honestly, we, we just had a lot of laughs on the way. Right. Uh, we we are still on the road back from um, your fitting at Orca Golf. Yes. Yes, we yeah. had the lovely Alex. Oh. So we did a QA and a on um, Instagram, which eventually we managed to work. I didn't have a real shovel. We couldn't actually answer anything. So we've answered some things very quickly in 15 seconds per yeah. answer. But there's a whole bunch that came that weren't on Instagram. So you've had so, some Twitter, some Facebook. Yeah, we're going to do a longer Q&A. 15 seconds, you can yeah. some of those questions go off. I to think get I that. Got, what's my favourite four pool with the telly tubbies? Work fine for me. Um, right, so, uh, by the way, I had uh, Poe on as Cabby. She was Cabby, yeah. all right? Yeah. Uh, so, we got a whole bunch of questions uh, for a QA. and a We haven't done a Q&A for a while. Uh, I was hoping some of them were going to be things about you and the 4x40 or, but we never know. Okay. Well, you never know, see what we've got. Yeah, so we're going to start with Simon 4, 4P. Uh, he's just such a massive fan of the channel, he really is. He is. Yeah, oh, we love him to bits, and I'm going to try and organise the meetup with him. He's we, from Southampton Way. Yeah, right. we need to go and see you, Simon. We need to come down, we need to meet up, we need to have a round of golf with you. We just need to have a laugh. We do. We really do. Um, and believe me, you probably will get one. So, his question is a question for me. Okay. Oh, there we go. A question for Oggy. Recently, the channel views have increased and there seems to be a well of good feelings surrounding your efforts to improve. You have won the inaugural YouTube Golf Day team event. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Uh, and the DHG Dan Henderson Golf Christmas Special with James Ruth. Double E, like, right. Um, what is your favourite achievement in golf thus far? Well, you probably just mentioned both of them, to be honest. Oh. Um, but, and I can't really say one's better than the other. I mean, I, it was a massive shock to win the YouTube Golf Day, and it was a team event, and uh, Rob was amazing, and then the lovely gentleman from Germany, and then the person top performance at before. They're all just fantastic, Matthew. Uh, it's been such a long time ago now, I, I've lost track of it, but I've still got the trophy. So in, a, so in a way, that's still my best, even though people are going to say that it's a Christmas special, because it was lovely and James Reaper is brilliant. And to have all those professionals around you and really seriously good players and me just whack the occasional ball in the right direction um, was a fantastic experience. But hey, Dan, we, I never got a trophy, mate. I don't want even a medal. So like next year, when I whack it in the water, if I'm invited back, I'll just be yesterday's news. I'll just be old newspaper. At least, at least with the Rick Shields one, I got a trophy, which is sitting on the, the my only trophy cabinet with only one trophy in it, right now in my studio. Come so on, it's, sort, sort me out a medal. Sort, sort me out a medal. Medal, medal, medal. Give me, give me, give me. That's like Muttley. Um, oh, that's Darren, isn't it? Right. So yeah, yeah I, I loved them both. Um, I never really got a chance to take part in many like club competitions and things, just been through life and filming, etc. So. I, I think my achievement in golf so far is hopefully, hopefully, to encourage other people to play golf. And that's what the channel's all about. I, think, just, you, I think you've done that. I yeah, think you've I've encouraged a lot of people to, 
to get out and play. Yeah. So, oh, you put good question to that, by the way, when yeah, you said on, his, on uh, WhatsApp. Okay, Nick Cooper, again on WhatsApp. We've got a few Buccaneer questions to get you started. Why don't most golfers have a putting lesson when it's such an obviously important part of golf? I've got, I've got a bit of an answer. For yeah, that. go on, you know, a bit of an answer. It's a man, for the men, for the men players, it's a man thing, isn't it? Yeah. I want to hit it 330 yards. Yeah, it's I a nabby pabby boring thing. I want to hit it further. Yeah. But maybe, in hindsight, a lot of golfers should go and have a lesson on yeah, short game. Absolutely they should. I think I'm, I think I discussed it with you the other day on the St. Austin, when it was on the video about, oh no, it was with Badger, sorry, on Honeywell Bay. Um, the, why are putts a full point the same as a drive? 300 yards, yeah. one shot, one putt, that far, one shot. That's it. And if it's going to be the same, then you really got to seriously learn your putts. You do more putts in the round than you do anything else. Well, they do say drive for show, putt for dough, and that is well, where you can score. It is true, that that's your scoring shot. And I've got the experience of not scoring by not holding the putts. Yeah, and um, well, Everyone knows that I've saved plenty of my games by actually putting well. That's it. Yeah. So maybe people should have a putting lesson. Uh, absolutely. A I think. I think even even forget the lesson. I think you should practice putting a lot more than people do. Yeah. No, um, definitely. What? When? When did you last do a proper putting practice? When did I do one? Most of the time, people would just roll up in the club, maybe hit two putts on the practice screen and yeah. go and play. Mine was last week, and my back still sore. Well, and there is that problem. You do get a bit of a back issue when you do major yeah. putting practice. But I think it's a very type of part of the game, and it should be practised. OK, 4P. God, you're half keen, 4P. Right. And one for Neil. Do you feel you're enjoying golf as much now you have set a challenge of reaching a handicap of 4 by 40 or has your love of the game been compromised? We did have a little, you had a little discussion about this question earlier. Yeah, um, you did. I still feel that I have got the love for the game. Okay. Um, however, putting myself under the pressure, I think Tough, love, love lost, but no, I think you know, the, the love of the game's still there, otherwise I wouldn't be good. Part, part of the game is a competitive edge. Part That's of the it. game is trying to either beat other people or to just beat yourself. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and, you're, and you're always against the course. Um, so I think it, it, certainly from my point of view, even though I just love having fun and I accept the fact of shots or whatever, I still want to try and get better. Yeah. Um, the problem with you right now is that you're under a lot more pressure because you're not playing enough to make your handicap drop easily. No, no, no. I say so well, every game you play, you have to put it in. Yeah, yeah we've, play well. we've done a little 4 by 40 video on the way back yeah. and uh, sort of goes into sort of explaining what I need to do now and my next steps. And, uh, but it doesn't stop yeah. our love for the game. Oh no, it doesn't stop the love and for the it, game. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, well, oh, hey, we just can have, can have right. a laugh doing it, aren't we? That's right. Yeah. Um, Steve Treby. Favourite course you have both played, the course you want to play but achievable and not like Augusta, if that makes sense. Yeah. Favourite course we both played. Well, favourite course we both you, played. You go first. You go first. That we both played. What, as in together? I if it's together, it's going to be Travos. Travos, yeah, together. Well, yeah. You, you pick the favourite course you've played. Um, look, again, favourite course I, I have probably played is still going to be Travos because I just love it. Um, I suppose, supposedly, best course I have played would have been Brabazon. Yeah. Quick, hit the break still. So, hey. no, right. Uh, we are driving down the M4. Uh, would have been a Brabazon, but whether I enjoyed it or not, I, I don't really know. It, it, no. It's a lovely course. I got beaten up really badly at Saunton, but I love playing it. No, I love a, playing the really tough, hard courses. It's a tough course. It no, doesn't matter if you get beaten up by them or not. No. There's some beautiful courses out there, but in, in Cornwall, for me, it would have to be Trevet. The favourite course I've played, possibly Royal North Devon. Yeah, we'd like to go and do a vlog there. Yeah, home, yeah. lovely links course. It's it's just simple. It's simple links, open links, but it's it's still cheap on the course. All those kind of things. Yeah, you said, fenced yeah. off greens. Yeah, no, I, I do like that course. Like proper old fashioned golf, like yeah. how, where how it originally kind of should have been. Yeah, how it was. I mean, yeah. A course I'd like to play. Yeah. I mean, I think everyone would like to play Augusta, but not including uh, not, allowed. not allowed. Not allowed. Um, 
if I had ever had the opportunity to play Wentworth West Course, okay, that would be high up there. Because you did mention earlier on the on the, the very long trip we've had, it's been six hours up and six hours back. It will be uh, that you, you you'd love to play St, uh, St Andrews. St Andrews, everyone. Old course. Kind of I think everybody, that. everybody at yeah. Bay's Golf would love to play that. Um, um, but, but you yeah. have always got that soft spot for Wentworth. I have, yeah. Ever since watching it on TV, because they used to have the match play, the Volvo PGA. I've been there, I've walked the course, and watched them playing it there. That would just be... I, th I think for you, I, I think it's about following in the footsteps of the greats. It is, yeah. It's all walking the hallowed turf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, um, I'd like to go abroad. I'd like to go back to Ireland where I used to live. And I would love to play... I think there's a couple. And I'd like to play Killarney. Um, yeah. I would like to play, as a posh, very expensive course, Old Head Links. Oh, which is the, yeah, yeah that's amazing a one. Uh, up on, on the cliffs. Um, but quite frankly, I'd also like to play Castletown Bear, Bear Haven, which is which is where I used to live. It's just a tiny little course which I walked past numerous times when I lived in Ireland, but didn't play golf. So it'd be nice to go back to my older village and play. Um, so that's that one. Uh, John Eva. John Eva. John Eva. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Specsavers. Um, did Neil go for the whole bag? Um, that was this at the Orca. Uh, I walk it out. We just went today. for um, just an iron fitting. Yeah. Um, I think really to do a full bag, you need more than one day there, really, to be uh, honest. Quite frankly, uh, I was discussing with Alex afterwards. Uh, he said he wouldn't advise and probably wouldn't do a full fitting uh, for no. someone in one day. No, I mean, not even doing, say, irons AM and then your, your woods PM, no. Um, you'd want to do it on two separate days, really. It's it's getting grey and raining. Are we in Devon yet? No. No, uh, no. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah. We're getting towards Bristol. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, up by Second Paradise. It'll be lovely when you get there. will be rainbows and everything. Um, so, uh, for me, I'd like to try and maybe get some more irons at some point. I'd like to get some new irons at some point, irrespective of which company right now. Um, but it was one of the questions that was also on the... Uh, Instagram on it about well, yeah. why did I not get fitted? Well, I, d I didn't get fitted because I don't have any money right now. Uh, I don't earn very much from YouTube. Most of it goes on travelling expenses and filming and equipment that we buy from YouTube. Yeah, I think your, your focus has been on the, the equipment side of things. Yeah, we, we're got... waiting to get a drone, we're waiting to have a small camera, then we're kind of settled for a while. But this, that, that then is, is money which then benefits you, the viewer. Yeah, you, you have to, to invest in you, the channel to make it better. To give you that better viewing experience. Yeah. I sound like I know what I'm talking about. For, for my golf experience, I've got to try and improve on what I've got for now, and hopefully, um, with a bit of luck, maybe sometime in the future I'll be able to yeah. get some clubs. We'll see. Okay, yeah. we've got a couple more questions from the Buccaneers on WhatsApp. We'll do these quite quickly. Nick Cooper, your favourite club, excluding putter, five iron. Oh, for me, always five, five iron. iron. Yeah, that is your reliable one off the yeah. tee. Um, for me, at the moment, it's three wood. Yeah, you would normally say your uh, wedge. I'd normally say my wedge, but yeah, I'm, not, not at the I'm moment. falling out with them at the moment. Yeah, you're uh, falling out. I could almost say the way it's going right now, it is uh, three strength forward Cobra for me. Yeah. Fairway wood. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that because he's going to put a price up. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I, I say definitely for me, it's, it's three wood. He'll um, be watching anyway. Right. Yeah. Happy with that question? Yeah, that's good one. Okay. Uh, like, oh, you know. Nick, Nick stays quiet on our group and sometimes they get bombarded yeah. to be festive. If everything is going wrong, is there one thing on a golf course you try to do to reset yourself and steady a bad round? For example, I, if I'm having a bad round, a nightmare round, I revert to trying to take all the play out of my wrist and keep my left arm straight. Why is that technical? Hmm, that's, that's a good question. Um, I think I was discussed it with you a while ago. I normally... I'll so just take a couple of steps back, have a deep breath, and then I'll just go through the basics. I'll do my grip slowly, so I'm making sure the grip's right, make sure the alignment's right, and just try to reset myself from there. Yeah. It wasn't it you that said uh, about the tiger thing about 10 steps? Oh, that, that was Alex. That was Alex, yeah. Alex. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. When, when he had a really bad or whatever, he would like to take 10 steps to get angry, break things about or whatever, yeah. and then snap out of it and go back Yeah, he gives himself 10, 10 steps, 10 yards or whatever to, to just reset himself and get the, the frustration out of it. 
Uh, just checking, are you okay? Still answering questions as you drive through what is now quite a storm. This is uh, a bit of rain. No, no, we're all good. We're okay. all good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah. Shall I really answer this? Go on then, and I'll, and I'll, I'll even say I understand. Nick, yeah, good question, mate. What is the sh response you have asked from a golf club when you have asked to film them? Oh, yeah, well, um, I've asked lots of places. I never film without permission. No. Nope. So I never like stick a club of a camera in and go, we'll just do something random. Um, so I always ask permission. Uh, and quite often, because of the mental health issues, I find it quite difficult to just ring places stuff I don't know. I have to email them and expect yeah. to uh, answer it back. I mean, I mean even being so, you, we. We generally talk yeah. by a message rather than a phone. Yeah, call. we do. I am. Again, I'm going to do a film about mental health issues, and it's one of those things I have problems with phones. So, it's just it's quite tricky for me to, to run this channel at times. Uh, but I have had an ongoing situation for about four years that one club that basically refused me for about two and a half years, then said yes, then we had COVID, then I re asked them, and they said no again. Yeah. Um, which is a shame. Well, yeah, I could mention it. It is a Cornish one. I'm not going to go into details. It's fine. If they don't want us, that's absolutely fine. They basically said, uh, no, we're not interested in, in having any films done. That's completely up to them. Uh, I said, what do you do about encouraging tourists and other people to come down to play your course? Oh, we get plenty anyway. Yeah. Fine. We live in a tourist area. It's a um, shame as well because it it's a nice course. Yeah. yeah. It would look very pretty on camera. Yeah. I just, yeah, yeah. It's not that far from us. No. Um, and the and the other answer I got was when I asked, uh, well, what do you do to encourage juniors and new people into the game? And they said, we got to get in the golf scheme. Don't we need you? Yeah. Okay. So that was one. There are there are other there are other people that've done it. One other one has said, oh, well, what's YouTube? Yeah, that's always uh, a fun one. Which which makes it a bit tricky then for us to really kind of explain what we're doing. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, you know, some part some people in golf is just still. I'm 56, but are still relatively old people uh, in in their ways, yeah. not necessarily of what so they do. Set in their ways. Yeah. Because set in their ways, they think golf will just continue as it is forever, and it'll always be successful, and that won't always be the case. Uh, and we just try. We're not asking for free beers and stuff. We're not asking for loads of money. Uh, I mean, you know, if if I want to go and play golf and, and pay, I'm quite happy to do so, and not take a camera and just enjoy the day. Yeah. It's a hard work. It's really hard work filming at the same time. It is, yeah. Uh, if you, some of you would like to come and play, you'll find out what it's like. It's nothing like playing a normal round of golf. No. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy to find the courses that want us and go back time yeah. and time again and enjoy the, the day with them. So, thank you very much to those who do support us. And if you don't, it's absolutely fine. You get one of your lives, I'll get up with mine. Okay? All right, so that's Buccaneers questions. I think there's a couple on Facebook. Mark Webb on Facebook sent me a message saying, where is Orca HQ? Um, it's near Leighton Buzzard, like it's called, yep. in a place called Wingfield. That's it, and it's yep. about, what, a quarter of a mile, if that, from a lovely little pub. That yeah, we enjoyed burger. the pub, yeah, the lovely burger, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's kind of on the way to Luton, Leighton Buzzard area, yeah, Leighton very Buzzard lovely Buzzard. village. Yeah. Um, and we'll, they'll be getting, doing the what's in the bag, when he gets his new clubs. Um, you can do a what's in the bag anytime you like, my friend. Are you sure we can do a what's in the bag? I'm sure we can. I think since the last one there's in, well, it's a couple of changes, but so. Yeah. Um, and yeah. for me, a lot of people always ask me if I do a what's in the bag. When I get any new clubs, I'll do a what's in the bag. Simple as that. Most of my clubs are exactly what I started with. Okay. Um, okay, so we, we'll go back to the Instagram questions because we only literally have 15 seconds to answer them. Yeah. So I was trying to do a bit It's a bit tough trying to do it in 15 yeah. seconds. Um, I have no idea who pronounced that. I sudsy. He sudsy. Okay. Oh. Why do you folks insist on driving on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> I assume you're from uh, over the pond. And I don't mean Devon. I assume you're over the pond. Um, I think we invented driving. So therefore yeah. we, we can do what we like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you go back in time... There, there is a historical reason, we, I guess. We used to drive on the left. <laughs> or our steering wheel was on the left, I think, many, many, many years ago. But I could be wrong. I, I have no out. idea. I used to build cars. I don't know anything about yeah. the highway code, though. Um, hmm. OK. Maybe um, you're just watching us in reverse. Yeah, yeah, maybe we are actually doing that, but the cameras are in reverse and you, you get it wrong. Yeah. Who knows? OK. Uh, 
Okay, Liam Sucker is what's your dream golf foursome? Everyone asks those questions. Dream golf foursome, well, Tiger. Yep, that's what you said. Polter. Yep. And if I could, it'd be seven. Fair enough. Uh, seven, and you, yeah. I guess. And, and me, obviously, yep. yeah. Um, um, I said the Teletubbies. I know. Pipsy, uh, Lala, Tinky Winky, he's got a fantastic hat. Uh, and, At the start uh, of the video, it's not Stinky Winky, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, I'll have Poe on, uh, on Cuddy, because she can carry. Oh, yeah. did, did you know that the girl, the girl many years ago who um, became Poe in uh, Teletubbies, right. to to do it, she had to go and do uh, uh, like an audition or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She became a coffee table for 30 minutes. And that's how she got the job. She became a coffee table. Yeah, the randomness I know in my head. Honestly, you wouldn't want to be in here without medication. You really wouldn't. Well, yeah. she, she pretended to be a coffee table for 30 minutes, and that's how she got the job. Improvisation. There you go. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, ben Keenan, what made you choose this brand of irons compared to better known brands? Well, we discussed it on the, the video. Um, I've read a lot of reviews about them. I've, I've known they've existed for a few years and the quality of the materials they use. Um, also, it's down to the sort of customer experience you get with them. A, with the fitting or the, the build of the, uh, the the experience of the build and the fitting. Um, and also, what they do for you as a customer. Yeah, I think it's after, the aftercare service. Um, yeah, so when you buy a set from them, I can quite happily give Alex a ring say, I'm going to be passing next Tuesday. Is it right to pop in? Can you check the loft and line? Yeah. And he'll be like, yeah, no problem. Fantastic. Yeah. You become an orca eye. Yeah. Probably. And um, yeah. yeah, they just look after you with the customer friends, service. Friends for life. Friends for life, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's not just about finding what you would say is no. a well-known brand. He is a well-known brand. He's won many, I, many awards all over the world. Has, and I, Just and I not the lot, ones you see on the TV or whatever. A lot of people would probably be surprised about him before Orca. Yeah, in the, uh, and what he'd in. done before that. Yeah, um, yeah but... Maybe I'll do an interview with I him at some that point. Would be quite interesting, that. Yeah. yeah. Caution. Very good. George Patton, that's what we do again. Yeah. Okay. Um, also... Ben said, on average, how many hours of golf do you play in practice a week? In answer to me, uh, I don't play enough. I'm a carer for my wife, so I fit around family life and that situation. And I tend to play and film, which is a problem I need to kind of address. Yeah. I do more playing and practicing without cameras. I mean, it's very tricky. For me, I don't play or practice enough. I mean, I practice it about two hours a week um, and play it when I can. So whether that's grabbing nine holes or or what, but um, yeah, I do need to try to get out there a little bit more. We're just normal people with normal lives, or me with a vaguely normal yeah. life, and you just have to pick up around it, same as most other people do. Well, I spoke on a, a different video that I work, I do shift work, so I could be working Saturdays, Sundays, which is a lot of people's regular golf days. So, yeah, you're get probably out there finding other people, people to yeah. play with for your handicap purposes, etc. Yeah. We could go and quite happily play golf alone. Quite a lot yeah. of times. Sometimes it's, it's not always that fun, but sometimes it is. Yep. Just gonna let you sort yourself out here in a minute. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, hopefully you're hearing this because the rain is actually down quite hard and uh, the microphone might be picking up the rain. I'll do my best. Uh, so, where would uh, Wolfie Paul would be said, uh, said, where would you say is the best driving range in Cornwall? Kind of discussed this earlier. Uh, there are two. I mean, Hell Golf is lovely. They're good friends of ours. We do lots and lots of stuff locally, so locally is going to be Hell Golf for us. Oh, you say lo yeah, locally. Great, got great range, great which, facilities. Yeah, they've got their short game area, which is absolutely Second fantastic. Second to none. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the range facilities there are good. And it's just a very relaxed place to yeah. go and play and, and practice. Um, if we were at the other end of Cornwall, I'd probably say China Fleet because they've got all the top trace to the top golf facility. Yeah, they've got to go them. with it. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Um, just very different. Yeah. But both both very yeah. good. And I say both at extreme ends of the county as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. No competition with each other, they're just both very good. And Cornwall is a very long, narrow gang thing. It is. Yeah. Okay. So, Wolfie Paul, take two due to the sat nav. Take two uh, due to the Wolfie sat, Paul sat said, what's, what's sat nag? Yeah. What's your favourite course to play on and why? 
Uh, I was going to say Travaux because we kind of mentioned it already. But for me, I don't know about Neil, but as a fun golfer for me it's about it's not about the course it's about the people it's about the club it's about the friendliness that when you you go there and the approachable approachability on the it, yeah. place um there's some quite stuffy places out there that makes things a bit awkward when you go and play there's some wonderful places of all different qualities um, and i just love going to find places that that are welcoming i think that's part of it i mean one course I do like and I enjoy going back to is is your home course now, Merlin. My, my new home course, I, yeah. I do like going there. It's it's a good course. Yeah. It's it's a tough test in itself, but everyone's so welcoming and it's it's nice and you feel like you want to go back. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm great friends with the greenkeepers for the minute. We kind of stepped on the place. Re- reception is excellent. The, the course manager is lovely. Um, yeah, it, it is what it is. It's a little bit probably, let's be honest, a little bit basic in, in the clubhouse facilities and things. Um, you know, it comes to food, etc. But what I've had has been really good. It's, but it's just the place. They've been so welcoming. They've said to me, don't bring cameras, doggy. Just come and play golf on a, on a Sunday, etc. So just come and relax. That's what golf's about. Yeah, and yeah, so I definitely agree with that. Yeah, and I've been on some courses where they just treat you like dirt. Sorry, new, new part of this channel is we're going to tell you the truth. Okay? Um, always. We've always done that, but I've always been a little bit diplomatic. Be more edgy. Be more edgy. edgy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Edgy, mate. Yeah, right. So, uh, Josh Bell. Oh, I love Josh Bell. Oh, Josh. Yeah. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Um, are you nervous? I hope you're both well. I'm assuming, are you nervous to be fitted? I was, to be fair. Yeah, I've um, always been nervous to be fitted. I thought you'd be nervous about driving, but... Well, no, I mean... Uh, yeah, believe me, I was actually a little bit about that this morning. Yeah, go on. But, but no, I mean... Going somewhere completely different. Uh, I mean, Alex is, is sort of throughout social media, he's well known, and um, yeah, it's it's nervous going somewhere, and literally, you're going to be watched every shot you hit. And it's yeah. I've yeah. been fit for a few things driver, a hybrid at one point, and, and bits and pieces. Uh, and certainly, when I first started, when I got fit from the Zoom, oh, wow, that was that was nerve wracking because all the people in front of me I was watching before I they were so good. Yeah. Um, you tend to find that most people who fit you are just trying to put you at ease. And you end up with kind of, kind of less than as well, yeah. which is which is kind of good because they kind of teach you a few things that not always bad at clubs. Sometimes no. it's about your yeah, swing or whatever. Yeah. They give you a bit of tip. They're normally, unless maybe you're in a shop, um, very yeah. experienced golfers who are giving you the, the fitting as well. Uh, yeah, of course it's nerve wracking because yeah. you've got people you've never met before. It's like being on the first tee. Yeah. Uh, 50, 100 times with the shots. Yeah, but I mean, Alex has seen, he's seen all sorts of swings from pros, celebrities. Is he not going to fit me? You know, he's, he's yeah. seen it all, so nothing would faze him. If I just started shanking it, he'd probably just take the mick out of me and, yeah. you know, I'd feel a little bit more at ease. But on, on with the next shot, basically, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, but yeah no, a little bit nervous at the start. Okay. So, uh, J, J Roll Bad Golf um, asked a couple of questions. What's the current state of play in the Cream Tea Cup? Uh, well, if you mean Darren versus Neil, uh, Darren's been unavailable to play for a while. We may try and do another attempt at the Cream Tea Cup that'd individual. Be, that'd be fun. That'd be good. Darren's been panned twice so far, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. But we have been a bit... He's not. We've not been lenient enough with his handicap. Darren doesn't have an official handicap. He just assumes he's a whatever. Yeah. He's not. He's not had enough playing yeah, time recently. You know, what he used to be is not what he is now. Yeah, I so. think he's been too... He's generous, generous on himself. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, we can have a probably arrange a rematch at, yeah, some, I think so. at some point. Um, I, have, I am still hoping to create an actual Cream Tea Cup trophy and uh, do it as a team event. But I've had some health problems for a few months and not really been able to organise that this year. It might happen. If not, I'll try and certainly make sure it happens in the next year or so as a proper event as opposed to our big charity day we'll hopefully yeah. come back next year well, so we have had some some good ideas for it we've got yeah. life's just got in the way yeah, recently it's... in the planning of a lot of things um how was the custom fit neil i think if you watched the video you'll know that watch the video i mean alex was absolutely fantastic his coffee making skills are just up there yeah um, got great hair. And to be fair... He keeps yeah, it on the side on a little wig stand. Is that what that was? Yeah, probably, yeah. I, I thought, thought it was just pet I thought it was a, I thought it was a Persian. I was going to feed it, but yeah. But in, in all seriousness, seriousness um, yeah, great guy. And 
yeah, um, I would thoroughly recommend. Uh, absolutely recommend it. Recommend that for him, yeah, definitely. Yep. Uh, I think very quickly, uh, what's your favourite hidden gem course in Cornwall? Mine is Bude Bing. I'm with you on that. Just beautiful. Just beautiful you, you all time of the year. As a pocket perfect, size. Perfect pocket golf course. I yeah, love it. Definitely. Nine yeah. holes, full length course, uh, and even the shorter ones are just kind of tricky. I've got the best, one of the best, eight, um, what would be the 18th or 9th hole part three in yeah. the end. Yeah, fabulous. Uh, and I love your hotel, spa, etc. Boat trips down in the same area. It's all just a lovely place to go and play. Beautiful part of the countryside. Uh, Alfie and Dad Golf, this is for me. Have you got a target handicap you want to get to? 19. 18, 19 would be my ideal score of handicap because I want to play bogey golf and be really happy with that. I think logistically I can't get any further than that. Body issue, issues, health issues, and time issues to practice. Uh, yeah, that's a like. respectable, respectable target. That puts you up in the the top few percent. You know, yeah. the average yeah, yeah. handicap is 18. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, that's a good target. Last one for this because we're going to be a very long video. Um, Ishidio said, uh, I'm guessing Irish actually. Love the content, guys. Any plans to travel overseas or play different courses? We'd love to go overseas. Yeah, I must get a passport again. Yeah, yeah uh, mine's out of date, but uh, it'd be nice to do it. If, if I can raise enough money on a channel, I'm quite happy to travel. It's even, not a problem. Even maybe not overseas, but I mean, for yeah. me, Scotland has got a lot of courses to offer. Yeah, there's a little course on the Silly Isles we can go to. Or there a Jersey. Is, yeah, yeah you don't, don't need a passport to go there. That's true. Um, yeah. Scotland, I've never actually been to Scotland anyway, full stop, irrespective. I'd like to maybe go there one day. Um, and they said there's quite a few course up yeah. there. I would like to go to Percy to Ireland uh, and go back to where I used to live and play golf because I never played golf when I lived in Ireland. So for me, it would be uh, in around the Cork and Kerry region of Ireland. Very nice. Okay. Um, I think that's probably it. I think for now, we'll, we'll call that a day because Q&A takes it's forever. Don't I don't really want to listen to everything about us. I know. Who well, wants to know always. what we we what we was doing? But but hey, thank you very much for the questions because without you, we have had a really boring trip on the way home, wouldn't we? we I mean, we're have. literally not talking to each other by the time we got there in six hours. And now, oh, yeah, now, well, yeah. I know. I mean, I'll just be glad to get in the car. I will. But this is Bristol. I might as well stay here. Oh yeah, I'll drop yeah, you home. Drop me home. I'll get a bus home. <laughs> Thanks for watching, watch everybody. Please subscribe, please the notification bell. Come and follow my adventures in golf and sometimes Neil's and uh, sometimes a bit of Q&A. Sometimes it'll be a random video like this. Sometimes it'll be proper golf videos. <laughs>